in Chicago. Migrant shelters are overwhelmed. The city is struggling now to find more housing. And New York City is leaning on hotels to help house the thousands of migrants coming to the Big Apple in recent months. And then to the south, Atlanta is hitting its breaking point. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution says lines of migrants at the Atlanta ICE office are unprecedented. Georgia had the seventh highest number of new immigration cases in the country in 2022 and 23, but has no shelters for the new arrivals. Atlanta area immigration lawyer Charles Cuck says he has not seen something like this in 25 years. Charles Cuck is joining us now to talk more about it. Sir, thank you. More than you've seen um, in 25 years, and this is what you do for a living as an immigration attorney. Why are they coming to Atlanta, first of all? Uh, Atlanta is uh, now one of the primary uh, stops for immigrants to the United States. Uh, you can actually trace that back to the Olympics in 1996, when the idea was to bring the world to Atlanta, and they came. And, and they never went home. Uh, Atlanta has uh, experienced an unprecedented building boom, an unprecedented population uh, growth here. And as a result, immigrants come here. And now we've got long lines, we've got tents on the streets. How have you seen it, with your own eyes, impact your city? Well, what's interesting about this in Atlanta, the, the article from the Journal Constitution really talks about the people that are reporting to the ICE office as a result of having come across the border. So they're actually trying to comply with the law uh, because ICE, unfortunately, is understaffed for the volume of people that have come across and that are being put into removal proceedings. Uh, the interesting thing about these lines uh, is that uh, they are people that want to comply with the law after coming into the country unlawfully. So they're trying to get right into the system that they are. The one thing we're really not seeing here are tents in our downtown area. Area. We're not seeing the things you see in New York and Chicago because most of the immigrants in metro Atlanta aren't in the city of Atlanta. Uh, they're out in the suburbs where most of the immigrants live and the family members are. So we're not seeing the videos that you see for other cities. It's just not the way Atlanta is physically structured. Uh, but the, 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 the interesting play here is people want to try to get right with the law, but the system itself is broken. Broken and backlogged, right? Oh, it's terrible. Um, they just announced a couple of days ago that uh, uh, the number of people in removal proceedings is now at three point, removal is deportation, um, is now at 3.5 million. Uh, when Trump left office, it was 1.2 million. Uh, and so there, and there are likely another million to two million people that are going to be put into deportation in the next six months. But the number of judges is has increased by about 40 percent. I mean, they're just the system itself without a fix to the law is just broken. You, you're not, we're not going to be able to deport our way out of this problem. Yeah, it's just a mess. And you talk about the people who want to follow the law to go through the process legally. Georgia recently passed a law requiring local law enforcement to identify and arrest illegal immigrants. What has the implementation of that law looked like? Actually, the Georgia law does not do that. Uh, that's the Iowa law, the Texas law, the Florida law. The Georgia law was actually targeted towards law enforcement officials, uh, requiring them to detain people to detain people in their custody for ICE, but only after they're arrested in the normal course of activity. It did not authorize them or allow them to simply arrest people like Texas is supposedly going to do or Florida for being undocumented. Uh, there is that fear in the community because of what's happening nationwide. But the Georgia law is really targeted as a result of the murder of the UGA student towards the police and the police actively cooperating with ICE when that's possible. So the, the, this, the measure from our state legislature didn't go quite as far as other states have gone. There's no easy fix here, but what do you think would be the first right move to address this issue? Well, I mean, if, if there was easy fixes, I think we would have fixed it long ago. I mean, the, the clear issue here is the ability of our system to absorb people that our system allows in. Uh, and I mean, when I say that, it's because when you come to the border, whether you come at a port of entry or if you cross illegally, you have a legal right to ask for asylum and to be able to stay until that asylum case is heard. The Trump administration tried to get around that by deporting people, and the courts kept striking it down. 
Uh, the reality is only law, legal changes, only co only Congress can make these, are, are possible here. And these are things are such as limiting the number of people that can apply for asylum within a certain period of time, increasing the punishments for unlawful border crossing. But only Congress can do that. The president doesn't have a magic wand to fix this problem. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.